Hello, beautiful Gemini, and welcome to your message. I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium, oracle, prophetess. If you're new here, welcome to Gypsy Capitals Harrow. Welcome to the tribe. Definitely be sure to subscribe if you guys are returning. Welcome back, my loves. All right. Let me tune into the energy for Gemini a little bit. Great love is worth taking that risk. Great love is worth taking that risk. Now, this could be love, um, something that you love, okay? Like maybe it's like, you know, um, a part of like your light work or your soul path or just your passions, things you wanna do, just things you love, okay? Or things that bring you, fill you with joy and love, passion. There's a lot of people aligning more and more and more to their true soul path. But I also think that maybe this is like about love for you or towards you. You know, maybe someone feels that, you know, being with you is risky or they're afraid to take risks with their heart or there's someone who typically like doesn't take risks with their heart or leaps in love you know you gotta you gotta when it comes to love like you gotta jump in you gotta be all in right take time to breathe out okay so you guys might need this message right now there's a full moon in virgo tomorrow tonight whatever however you want to say it um The disseminating moon. Something is disseminating. Something is going away. I I'm also getting like, you know, take time to breathe out. I feel like too, it's like, um, the song keeps coming through in messages here and there, but it's Bob Marley. Three little birds. Say you don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing. So things that are worrying you, anything like that, it's like, don't worry about a thing. Every little thing's gonna be all right. Take time to breathe out. Some of you guys need to do breath work. You need to calm yourself. You need to calm, connect, connect, connect more too. Take time to meditate. This is huge. Any true spiritual teacher right now is going to be talking about that as we move through these powerful, this powerful ascension, these X class flares that we're getting. Um, the astrological transits, just everything. Okay, so, you know, you're going to hear that, especially for me. I've been talking about that for months now. Keep your heart open, a first quarter moon in Libra. So, Gemini, I, first of all, I feel like I, like I said, there's someone maybe that coming in for you that doesn't typically keep their heart open and maybe they're getting signs or they have a feeling about you where it just opens up their heart. Libra rules the seventh house of partnership, marriage, things like that. Okay, this could be about like a soul contract, some kind of like balancing out of things. I feel too like Gemini, you guys gotta keep your hearts open right now, okay? Be in the heart space. Again, take time to breathe, just be, just be present. Don't worry about a thing, every little thing's gonna be all right. Things are balancing. You gotta keep your heart open to receive. The heart chakra is gonna be big here. Okay. Some of you guys are doing a lot of release work with this full moon around the heart space, or maybe you need to. I feel just like anyways, this full moon is helping to dredge up a lot of stuff for us to just release in general, emotionally, stuff from the heart, stuff that needs to go, stuff that needs to be cleared so we can move more into, you know, where we're meant to go. Let's see what the romance angels have to say for you. <laughs> let's see what love, let's see what love says. I feel like the universe is telling this up to someone though, like keep your heart open when it comes to Gemini, keep your heart open. And like I said, for some of you guys, it's about you, you activated someone's heart. Like you're opening someone's heart or you open someone's heart 
or you will be opening someone's heart. Oh, we just had two fall out. Hold on. Very, oh, I'm sorry, three. Oh my gosh. Give your relationship a chance. Reconciliation and very soon. Okay. Well, there you go. Reconciliation is someone from your past is returning to your life. So this could be literal someone from your past coming back around. Or this could be just like past life energy, past life soulmates. Someone that you've known before is going to be coming back around or they're returning to your life in this lifetime. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Again, keep your heart open. I think someone's like saying that to themselves. I want to give this a chance. You know, remember I, I, I was talking about like a risk or, or taking a risk or things being risky or something. It's typically someone who doesn't risk their heart. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. This is about like what you've been clearly deciding that you want and you're calling it in. And I feel like the person on the other end is also like making, like they have clear choices, clear a clear mind about you. Or it's maybe even like the universe going, hey, you need to decide what you want when it comes to Gemini. Do you want to work on this partnership? Do you want to be with this person? Do you want to reconcile what, what's been, you know, whatever's happened? Okay, for some of you guys, this is a friend or a friendship that evolves into something more. It's just coming through. You guys know if you're new here, I'm, I, everything that comes through, I'm just, I'm channeling, I'm channeling. So anything that comes through, I'm going to share. Okay, I, I go to pick up my deck. These three cards are on the, and look what I'm being shown. The Ten of, or the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups, Freudian Slip, Ten of Pentacles, great stability, marriage, having it all, you know, building a life with someone, great wealth, all of that. But the Ten of Cups speaks of emotional fulfillment. It's soulmate energy. It's alignment, you know, it's activated energy where you guys activate each other in huge ways. It's, it's big, big love. You could have a family with this person. It's happily ever after. 717 on the timestamp. July 17th could be a date or maybe you're seeing 717. For some of you guys, this could be a twin flame. 717 is a number that's very much connected to the twin flame collective. It doesn't have to be though. It's not gonna be for everybody. But I know for some of you guys for sure because I'm a twin flame reader. I do, you know, collective messages. That's a part of my light work here and my gifts is connecting to the divine unions, the soul, the big past life soulmate energies and uh, twin flames, page of swords. This is someone who's learning a lot about you themselves. You've, you've been teaching this person something or you teach this person something. Some of you guys might be a teacher. You may have students, okay? You might be a student yourself. Maybe you're going back to school learning a new trade or getting certified for something. Gemini, right now, you guys have a lot of bright ideas or you will have ideas coming to fruition in the not too far future. Okay, these are downloads, activations. You might be called to learn about something, study something. Okay, you might be seeing a lot of hawks, birds of prey, eagles, falcons. Okay, I feel like maybe there's birds that for some of you guys that come to you. Okay, maybe and there's two birds here. So it could be like two people that are passed on, you know, that have transitioned out that maybe are loved ones on the other side that come to you in the form of birds. I'm seeing hummingbirds as well. Ladybugs as well too. Okay, but it's very specific. You'll know. You'll know if that's for you. Queen of Wands. Wow. Okay, someone sees you as very powerful. There's the Ten of Pentacles, see? Nothing is an accident. Bottom of the deck, the, the Five of Wands. There's, there's, this is someone who sees you as like, you can have anyone, why would you want me? This is like someone who's a little insecure, even if they act very secure. You could have anyone, why would you want me? Maybe that's, maybe for some of you guys, maybe this person has been scared because of that. Like if I open up my heart, like what if Gemini sees the real me or gets tired of me, you know, I'll be crushed, you know, so it's just easier, better for me just to not go there. Okay. But the, the queen of wands, she's mesmerizing. She's gorgeous. She's hot. She's sexy. She's driven. She's full of fire, passion, seduction. 
Okay, but she's also very confident. She's confident. She knows who she is. She walks into a room, every head turns. Okay, some of you guys are getting more into like your own magic. You're seeing more of your own magic. You're working with your energy or just energy in general. I'm very drawn to all the candles around her. Some of you guys are working with candle magic or you're creating altar spaces. I'm getting like for the ancestors, for your guides, for manifesting. It's just more magical energy here. The black cat could be significant. It's about protection. Independence. She's highly independent. Cats are very independent. Someone sees you as just like mesmerizing queen of wands. You're fiery. You're all the things, you know, you probably have a million different people trying to get your attention. Someone is maybe afraid of the competition. It's a, it feels like a, it feels like an insecurity. Because they can really see something here with you or you're like, again, or very soon, maybe you're about to meet someone. Okay. And this is like, kind of like the storyline here. Take it how it connects with you. Someone is, they're mesmerized by you. And that could be very scary to, to people, you know? Like, who is this person? Like, oh my gosh, they're so different. I'm not going to meet another person like Gemini. You know, if it's like a man, it'd be like, most women I meet are, you know, needy and insecure and like codependent. Not Gemini. Gemini will boot you right out of the door. <laughs> Gemini is not going to take any shit. Okay. All right. So tell me more about this five of wands. I want to know about the five of wands. I feel like someone's just making a clear choice here about you. I'm hearing screw the competition. So maybe that's how they're feeling. You know, nine of wands. See the wounded warrior. So someone who's been guarded or they're typically very guarded. Maybe they've been guarded with you. They don't, they're not very trusting, not very open. They're, they've been wounded. They have abandonment wounds. Okay, this is someone who, it's a nine though. So it's like they're overcoming, they're ending this like, you know, this like wounded warrior energy. Why? Because of love. Because there's, there's so much emotion, love. Something is, something is big here. It's open their heart again. Keep your heart open. There it is. Queen of Cups. She is the most open-hearted energy, agape love, the biggest love you can feel, have, give, receive. That's her. She's also highly psychic, empathic, intuitive. I feel like that's you. You're very magical, fiery, but you're super in tune. I'm hearing that song. It's a, it's a, well, it's like an older country song by Alison Cross. And it's, um, it's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. And she says, without even saying a word. Basically, like, you don't, we don't have to talk. We can feel each other. We know what each other feels and thinks. And I think for this person, for some of you guys, it's a little scary. It's, it's like a threatening energy. Okay, because maybe for some of them, they've been very much in the ego, Capricorn, devil energy here. But it's someone who like, I just feel this like, like they, with you, it's like, I'm, it's like, I'm obsessed with Gemini, but I also fear Gemini. Because of X, Y, and Z, my past, I don't know, past life wounds. Something about this connection is being angelic. If the angels are like helping to balance things. They're helping to bring healing. They're helping to like guide. This must be an important connection to the universe. Something like divine. Something that's meant to create some type of healing, balance, light, whatever. The moon and the sun though, you see that? The, the moon and the sun unite. When the sun and the moon unite in the sky, creates an eclipse, right? This is an eclipse, total eclipse of the heart. 
All right. You know what I'm hearing when I when I saw that? I need a man up. This is someone who, who's like, I need a man up. This is someone who typically they've been dragging their heels. Maybe they maybe this has taken a long time for this person to get to this point. Um, for some of you guys, if it's a new person, it's just someone who like meeting you. They're just they man up. Okay, if it's a woman, if you're a man watching and it's a woman, then they need a woman up. You know, they need to step into this warrior energy and be honest, truthful, bold, forthright. These seeds have been being planted for a long time, Gemini. Okay, and someone coming in is bringing it to fruition. Okay, and there's a lot of blue throat chakra, right? He's the king of justice and truth and balance and wisdom and you know, all of this, whoever this person is, this person is very intelligent, by the way, and you are too. They're very intelligent, which is why they take their time with things. They don't, they don't typically rush in, you know, only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with you. Maybe this is someone you've been dealing with for some time. It's moved slowly. This is someone who just like, they... They just want to be forthright. They want to be a warrior. They want to be like a hero. They want to be the protector. They want to, you know what I mean? You bring something out in this person that no one else has. The owl and the raven could be significant. I'm also getting coming out of the darkness. So maybe this is someone who's coming out of like a shadow period or a hermit energy. Okay, I also feel maybe that's for you guys coming out of the darkness, maybe, you know, more into the light, feeling more in your power, feeling the love frequency flow through you. But the king of swords takes action. He takes action. He could be very emotionally detached and cold and stoic. And I feel like that whoever this is, I feel like that's typically their, their, their way of operating. But again, something is telling them, keep an open heart. Keep your heart open when it comes to Gemini. All right, so that is what I have for you, my loves. Um, I thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed the, re the, the reading. Let me know in the comments how it connects with you. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, information is in the description box below. That's also what, where you will find information to pre-order a Lemarian Seed Clear Quartz Crystal Pendant copper wire wrap. This is mine, so it's a little old, but um, yeah. Uh, these are very powerful little guys. Um, they're wisdom keepers, they're activators, um, obviously very connected to Lemuria um, and, and all the things that go with that. It's, it's ancient energy. They were, the Lemurian seed crystals were seeded here by the Lemurians so, so we could access wisdom and the messages that they bring forth and all the things, right? I infuse them with light language, any kind of Reiki healing, anything that comes through for the person it's going to that I need to, you know, infuse into the crystal. It's charged with the full moon. Um, under the moon, it's uh, activated and cleansed and charged up with the sun and light codes. Um, so uh, they're, they're charged with sound healing mantras from goddess lakshmi and lord ganesh just a lot of stuff that goes into them so if you feel guided it's all down below um that's also where you will find detailed information if you feel called on um the activation it's a pleiadian it's ple it's a mixture of pleiadian with jesus okay this is gonna be my eighth activation workshop it's the one year anniversary from the very first one i did which was last year on the three three portal so on on three three um, it's going to be held over zoom. It is recorded. So if you can't make the live, it's on a quantum level. So you'll receive the recording and listen to it at your convenience and you'll receive the same, um, all the things, right. Um, as being there with the live, uh, detailed information, what the activations are about, what the workshops are about, what happens in the workshops all down below. If you're ready if you feel like I, I, I just need some extra healing, I just need some extra help. This one's going to be extra special and powerful because the Pleiadians, this is the first time I've worked with the Pleiadians in this way. About a week ago, um, I was literally shown some light technology that the Pleiadian showed me 
they were doing it on my own body um but it's extremely powerful potent healing so we're going to be channeling that bringing that through for whoever attends okay so again and and jesus is going to be leading the meditation and then the pleiadians will come in um at a certain point uh you know and yeah and then in the workshops you know we get to hang out we get to talk um there's been just such beautiful feedback people having really beautiful experiences really profound healing like you know i i don't claim you know anything like you know like oh this is going to for sure happen or not but it's powerful work and this is the work of the new earth and of us uh new earth teachers and leaders and guides so if you feel guided to learn more about that to purchase a ticket to be there be a part of this we would love 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 to have you okay information all of it's in the description box i love you so much gemini Thank you for all of your love and support. I send love to you always. Bye, my loves.